First, let me assure you that racism is a clusterfuck in the United States. And largely the problem exists because we don't understand what Martin Luther King was doing, calling his movement a civil rights movement. It had nothing to do with race, and it had everything to do with equality, treating everyone the same. When we use the term racism, we forget the fact that anyone can be a racist. And in fact, many people that should be called out for racism aren't called out for racism. And I say this knowing full well that black people, because they're black, are more likely to be racist than any other group of people in the United States. That's simply because we've created a culture where it's okay to be racist if you're black. It's not okay for anyone to be a racist. And it's time everyone stands up for racism and points to people and say, you know what, that's racist, don't do that. The irony, the irony, of course, is ever present, but not saying anything is racist. So if you feel like, oh, I shouldn't say anything, you're doing it because you're being racist. It's a catch-22, and that's why it's a clusterfuck. I've seen it. I understand it. When Quentin Tarantino came out with his film that used the term nigger a lot, he was chastised by a group of people that identified as black. The reality is no one gets a privileged position. No one can say what I can and can't say because of the color of my skin. I can't do it to you, you can't do it to me, we can't do it to each other. He can say whatever the hell he wants to say, however he wants to say it, if he thinks it tells the story better. If it makes it a bad story, then shame on him. He screwed up. He told a bad story. But pandering to this idea that because I'm black, I can't be racist, is racist. It is in the same way when a woman says, I can't be sexist because I'm a woman, is sexist. The thing is, we need to recognize that the same principles being applied incorrectly in feminism is being applied incorrectly in racism. And we need to quit making dividing lines where we need to be, shall we say it, collegial, fraternizing, sororitizing with each other. Making these artificial barriers due to some physiological difference is dangerous. And we're doing way, way too much of it.